if you're a big fan of the Dragon Ball community and, you know, anime fighting games, you're going to realize that one of the best things coming to the anime community and the gaming community right now is Dragon Ball Budokai Sparking Zero. So it's basically the fourth installment of the Tenkaichi series. If See, if you played Dragon Ball as a kid, we're talking Raging Blast, then any Tenkaichi 1, 2, 3, you're going to, you're going to know that something insane dropped. And that's what we're watching today. So basically the gameplay trailer dropped for Sparking Zero. And I'm going to be showing you guys things that I clocked. Not initially. I mean, I watched it for the first time straight up, just seeing what it was all about, just to see what the fighting style was like, just to see what the graphics were looking like and all. But the main thing I wanted to see were things like how much like how much of the gauges are being used the bars the meters what's being what like how quickly are you exhausting the things you have in the game like you, for example your health your health bar how much damage is the blast doing you know stuff like that so basically i'm going to show you guys the things that i noticed from this one so i'm just going to be watching and then i'll let you guys know as we go on One thing I do want to point out, let me not lie. See, I'm a Goku fan. We all like Goku, but let me not lie. I don't like the fact that Vegeta keeps dying to this guy, even in the gameplay trail, in the gameplay trailers. Like for me, I give the guy a win. Let Vegeta win something. I just don't feel like Vegeta deserves to lose every single thing. So okay, let's go. No, I won't be losing this one, Vegeta. If you guys notice, so the first thing I noticed straight away, yeah. Look at Vegeta right now. Look at where he is right now. The moment this guy moves with the key, like with the key armor around him, the whole ground breaks. That is that is beautiful. These are the things we want to see. It's 2024. We need to see graphics that match 2024. And these guys are not disappointing. Okay, so the first thing I, I noticed here, yeah, the, the movement, the movement that Goku has right now is so fluid compared to what we had back in the day. Like, it's so fluid now. And I believe the person that was narrating in the beginning and towards the ending did explain that they added something to this. So he's moving, like, in a very fluid manner. And it's taking out of his keybar, like, up here. Like, the proper dashes where he's actually zooming through, those ones, they take more. But the regular movement up and down is chipping away at his keybar. Which I think makes sense. The thing refills back fast. It's good. It just, it makes sense. It's something that just goes back and forth. No problem. But the vanishing is different. So when he vanishes, just look at Goku's bar. When he vanishes, a huge chunk is taken out. Yeah. And I believe that is fair. That's fair. You're, you're literally instant transitioning a, a good bar of it should be taken away. Bro. Please look at Vegeta. Just look at Vegeta's health bar when this guy does the Kamehameha. Bro, one whole cell is gone. One whole cell is gone. And, and I think the only thing that makes sense for this to be the, the case is the only reason that thing should do that much damage is because you decided not to block, you decided not to dodge, you decided not to deflect. Well, there's going to be something called something perception, so you can deflect like the blast. But I think... I think the reason it does so much damage is because you can see the blast coming. It's not as if it's something that's instantaneous. You see the blast coming. I think it's just heavy punishment for not reacting to it. Because I know for a fact, that is a lot of damage. That is way too much damage. Bro. Oh wait, is it just that the Kamehameha was boosted or it's just stronger? I mean, it didn't take out a whole cell, but it did decent amount of damage. Nice. So this part where this part where Vegeta 
maxi maximizes this key charge over like at the top here. He maximizes his charge here, then the atmosphere changes. Something I noticed here is that this place that says four, I've forgotten what this thing is called. I know this thing is in, I know this thing is in the previous Tenkaichi's, cheese, but I, I've forgotten what the thing is called. I've forgotten what the meter is called. But it goes down by one. It went down by one when he max charged, and that changed the atmosphere. So he's charging, he max charges, atmosphere changes, the four turns to a three. So I think some some people were wondering if this is a thing that would be in all the arenas or if this would be a thing that would happen all the time. I honestly, I don't know for sure, but I think it will happen all the time as long as you have one of these bars over here to reduce by one. I think if you have zero on this area, I don't think it's going to happen like that. But I, I do feel I do feel the whole reason this happens is to show that the opponent most likely has maybe some form of hyper ammo or something has to be there for so, something is most likely going on. There's definitely some buffs that's happening because of this. So I think, I think there's going to be some buffs and this is the whole atmospheric, cha atmospheric change is just to show that, oh, the opponent is definitely stronger or, you know, some, something is coming. Basically something is coming. So I just think that's it. And also dramatic effects, but I don't think it's happening all the time. I do believe you need to have at least one of these over here. Wait, how much damage did that do? Bro! Look! This... Wait, I, I need to make sure I, I know what I saw. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, Goku was on two bars. He does the final flash. He goes down to one bar. So... I think we can say direct hits. If you're getting a direct key blast, a prop, well, not just regular key, but a direct beam, you're going to lose a cell completely. Which means people, people who are going to be cracked at this game are going to find ways to definitely combo this. In, like They're going to be able to end their combos with this. Just prepare. This is going to be a war zone. This is going to be a war zone when it comes out. Okay, so... He's gone Super Saiyan Blue to transform. He had five. So Goku had five over here. To transform, it took away two. Just to show you guys. Yeah, he had five over here. So try to transform. Yeah, so it took away two. Bro. So that is the super perception. So to be able to do that, I think the same thing over here where we see number four, it does reduce by a number when he does it. So yeah minus two. You're losing two to be able to fully deflect a beam. The question now is, is it worth it to beam deflect to just look cool or is it better to dodge? Because I, I think you can, I think you can dodge that. I don't think you really need to push that away. I don't know. I, I mean to see how important this actually is. Well, later on, but, but for now, I don't think it's that important. I don't think, I think it just looks cool. They haven't shown us a real reason as to why we would have to deflect the whole beam instead of just rather than dodge it. Like if it was a thing where we could send it back to them, uh -huh, I could like I'm gonna sound that, but this I'm not really sure. Yeah, so Vegeta changed minus two as well. Okay, so, so another thing, so I think when Vegeta was knocked down, um, he had a quick recovery. So I think quick recovery is a minus one. So yeah, you can see he has three over here. Gets knocked down, quick recovery, comes back up. Yeah, minus one. Dang! So I don't know what this is, but he's getting hit. He's, Goku's getting hit over here. And then he gets a minus two. 
This is probably a revenge counter. This is probably a revenge counter, I believe. Bang! I love this so much because it's only taking key. It's only taking key and timing. So if you know how to time your thing properly, you're going to have a lot of this in like pro matches. This game is going to be tough. This game go hard. You go hard, die. The boost thing is over there as well. I like that. Okay, so the beam struggle. The beam struggle. See, we do have this in Xenoverse 2, nor did, did we have it in Xenoverse 1. It was in Kakarot, and I'm just happy like it's back here because every see, if you've played any Dragon Ball Z game, you know. You're either mashing buttons or you're spinning or you're spinning one of the you're spinning one of the joysticks on your controller. So this is just this is what Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi is. This is exactly what it's meant to be. So I don't really think you're mashing buttons in this one. I think it's more of timing because there was really nothing saying press this, press it, press this. It was just pressing triangle at like the right time. So I think it's going to be a thing of who has better timing between the two opponents. And Vegeta stays taking else. Like just give the guy a win. It's like it's not even the anime. Just give the guy a win in the gameplay, at least.